So how was the gas cell experiment actually developed? So the gas cell experiment was developed uh, by a team of people, very experienced software developers, lab technicians, academics, and somebody to manage us all. Uh, because it was very much like a space mission. We had to uh, work to a schedule. Students were going to be using the experiment on a certain date. We had to get it ready and tested in time. Um, so it was quite a challenge, but we had to work uh, alongside the module material that we were writing for it as well uh, and make sure that we meet all the learning objectives. So um, it was quite challenging. This is very much though a customised experiment, isn't it? I mean, it's bits and chunks of metal and tubes and things. That's right. So we built the experiment from scratch. Uh, there was a lot of discussion in the development as to how much we wanted the students to be able to do. Being an experimentalist myself, I was very keen to give the students the experience of uh, understanding the design of the experiment, to be able to control it as much as possible, to give them a remote experience of something that's similar to doing an experiment in an undergraduate lab um, on site, for instance. What's it like from your perspective actually seeing the students using an experiment that you've developed? It's really nice to see the students engaging with the experiment and demonstrating the skills that they have learned because in the module material they learn all about infrared spectroscopy, they learn about the operation of all the different components of the experiment, but when it comes to the actual action and, and students booking the sessions and going in there in pairs, working as a team, trying to overcome any challenges or problems, it's really nice to see that um, sort of in real life. I monitor the forums, I, I see the student discussions, uh, it's nice to see students encouraging each other, um, asking questions, um, and having fun. Now, it is your experiment, so I'm guessing it's based on your research. Yeah, so my background is in experimental molecular physics. I investigate regions of space that are very cold, so the gases are frozen, they're in the solid phase. Uh, but I use the same analytical techniques. I use infrared spectroscopy in my research. So it's all about understanding how infrared light is absorbed by molecules as they move. And in the gas cell experiment, students investigate these molecules in the gas phase. Um, so uh, there's a lot of similarity there. So have you been tinkering around with any new stuff then? Have you got new experiments lined up yes, for us? Yes, we've just developed a new experiment for level three module in physics, SM381, electromagnetism, and it's just here. And I can see it says danger, high voltage, high current, but presumably if we don't touch anything, we're perfectly safe here. That's right, yes. We've done all the risk assessments and the experiment is safe for ourselves and the students. And what kind of data briefly will they collect? So students will be learning about the whole effect um, and they'll be measuring the whole voltage in samples of metals. You know, looking around, I can see that a tremendous amount of work goes into putting these experiments together and making them accessible for the students. And I'm sure that they're really enjoying using them and I'm really, really appreciating the experience. Thank you. Thank you.